Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Cohen and I get to speak with Michelle Fabricer, our love and relationship coach. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Art. Hi, John. Hi. Good to see you. Michelle, the title of today's video is Creating Personal Freedom. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. That sounds uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> Don't we all have our personal freedom? What, what's the idea behind this? Yeah, yeah. Well, the idea behind this is, is a book that I read a long time ago, and I just hold it kind of near and dear to my heart. So it, the book is called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And it's a practical guide to personal freedom. So it's based on a Toltec wisdom. And um, basically, these are simple. These are four simple, powerful, yet not so easy sometimes agreements to live by. And they're kind of can be like a personal decision you make in your own life. And obviously, the, the, the author is encouraging if we all made these agreements with ourselves and others you know, the world would be a way, much better place. So um, I'll, I'll just get into them. How does that sound? Sure. Yeah, good. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is be impeccable with your word. Impeccable with my word, meaning my promise? Well, we, that you we use our words very carefully and clearly and that we don't speak... Um, uh, like, so when we use our words, we're creating a narrative, right? And so we're creating a perspective with which we see the world, the way we see ourselves, and to really choose our words wisely. I, I love the word impeccable. I don't know why that word just, anyway, enough of that. But it's basically being very precise. Mm -hmm. Like I say, oh, geez, there I go again, messing it up. Hmm. So I just said... I made this blanket statement, there I go again, messing it up. And so when I say that, I'm actually kind of speaking harshly of myself because I'm making a statement and I'm putting it out in the ether and I'm putting it in my own mind. So what he's basically talking about is that we really want to watch carefully how we characterize ourselves and how we characterize others. It's very simple, but it really, it, it has impact. Yes. Yeah, mm. I can see that it does. I can, that's, and impeccable is a good word. Impeccable is, you know, precise, detailed, clear. Yeah. Not confused. Right. Like meaning what we say and say what we mean. It's, yeah. it's really yeah. big, you know, and um, yeah. So it's and something to strive in, for. In right? Characterizing ourselves and others. Yeah. So what's yeah. the second one? The second one is to not, don't take anything personally. <laughs> And um, I think I've talked about this in another video. Another way of saying it is Q-tip, quit taking things personally. But anyway, in the book, you talk, you know, don't take anything personally. And really, if someone says something about us or that's not true or that, you know, we, we find upsetting, we don't have to let it impact our sense of self or our self-worth. Yeah. So we really, uh, it's kind of reminds you of a keto, somebody, you know, I don't know much about a keto actually, but if somebody sends something your way, we can just let it go by and we don't have to take it personally. Right. And this can be for, all, you know, like a relationship that doesn't work out. Somebody doesn't want to go out with us anymore. It's like, we don't know the full reasons, but we don't need to take it personally. Mm -hmm. I can see how that would set you free. Uh, you, you're not, you're not um, uh, controlled by what somebody else says. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, not to say that you can't extract, you know, we talked about the complaint sandwich in another video. There's not a yeah. way that you might learn from someone saying something to you. Like, see if there's something there, certainly. You know, that's part of, um, but it doesn't mean you have to take it personally. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And number okay, three. What's next? Number three is don't make assumptions. You know, communicate clearly, ask questions rather than jumping to conclusions. Hmm. Well, it's simple and smart. Yeah. And the last one is always do your best. And this is basically bring the best version of yourself, um, given your current in the moment capacity, 
right? Some days we're more tired. Some days we have more energy. Some days we have more patience. It doesn't mean you have to be the best. It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. It's just in the moment that you can make every effort to show up and um, be our best and to be gentle with ourselves too when we're not our best because we did our best that we could on wow. that day anyway. Yeah. And he calls them uh, he calls them his four agreements. The four agreements, yeah. I'm assuming because you're agreeing with yourself to yeah. do these things. Exactly. You're making kind of a personal commitment or intention that I'm going to be living with these tenants yeah. in my in my conduct in the world. Yeah. You know what? They're, all four of them are they're very simple, very basic, but really important. Yeah. And, and I assume I assume if I were to re buy the book and read the book, it he goes into a lot of explanation, yes. a lot of detail right, about right. why and how. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And different stories and scenarios about it. But it's it's a beautiful book. Yeah, highly and recommend it. And also, it's a subject matter that I think perfectly uh, uh, dovetails with uh, everything that you do, which is take control of yourself to better present yourself to the rest of the world, because that's the way you're going to have better relationships. Control what you can control. And by controlling the way you say things and do things, will probably present yourself to the rest of the world in a much nicer way or way that you'd want to be seen. So it's mm -hmm. like taking personal responsibility gives you personal freedom. Yeah, well yeah. said. Good. Well, Michelle, thanks for bringing this book to our attention. Um, we'll put it, put the information, the author down below mm -hmm. in the notes so people will know exactly what we're talking about, be able to find them on Amazon, wherever. Thanks. Great. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.